Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this morning. We have a great show lined up of special guests here. But first, let's take a look at our weather brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning. Drew Pollard and a hardworking crew up in Southport taking care of our everyday comfort needs. And it's going to be fair to comfortable today. High 82, low 72, not too bad. Water temperature at the end of the pier. Interesting, it went up another degree. It's up to 86 degrees, the Gulf water temperature. So be aware of that. That's just a little warm current that came in there. Let's take a look at our river reading. It's brought to us by Mountain Dew. Get out and do. We're looking at the Apalachicola at Bluntstown. It was reading a 5.3 this morning. The Choctahatchee at Caraville, 5.4. The Choctahatchee is going up like we you know, anticipated. It'd be rising water tomorrow. Now, if you're going out on, on the river, you have some rising water on Choctahatchee. Apalachicola just hasn't gone up much. This has been really steady. There's going to be some really good fishing off those feeder creeks and up in those sloughs of the Apalachicola River system. So try to take advantage of it. Our tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. We're looking at great tides today. Absolutely great tides today and tomorrow. Really good movement. We've, been, we've just been blessed with a great week of tides. We're looking at the high tide this morning at 11.05 and low at 12.35. And I was, you know, we had a full moon this week, so we had some really strong tides. And the high tides have been really super high, and the low tides have been really low. I was looking uh, last night, I uh, walked out to the edge of the uh, water and it really uh, dropped out and uh, really gone out a uh, really low tide and the high tide really was coming into the seawall almost over it so really strong tide this week take a look at our wind direction now it's going to be coming out of west southwest at seven almost negligible if you're out there so not much movement at all so you can really move around with this high tide coming in all right take a break we'll be right back Okay, welcome back. Got a lot of announcements and pictures, so let's get started right around the corner now. Yesterday we talked about the Mexico Beach Artificial Reef Association, their tournament coming up July 30th. The next week is the annual, first weekend of August, the 19th annual Sea Quarters Kingfish Shootout. This is a special, always a very special this year since we lost Jimmy Crowder. Uh, my buddies and I have fished this. Since, the, uh, since we started, and it's just very special to so many people. But look at this bottom line right here, folks. The profits go to Leukemia Research Foundation. Can you believe that? Off this one fishing tournament, $1,114,000 that we as fishing community have donated to Leukemia Research. And we're all so proud of that as a team effort. So just support it all you can. And one way to support it, you know, we always give uh, sell, selling stuff on the uh, big smoker they give away. This year, they're giving away a, all you buy a ticket, they're giving away a custom, I'm gonna buy some tickets on this, 2022 custom Yamaha golf cart. Street legal, okay? And again, all proceeds go to Leukemia Research Foundation. We're gonna draw at the fishing tournament at the way in, we'll be down there. And if you don't fish the tournament, just come down there, buy some tickets and uh, just, Hang out, hang out with us at the, at the weigh-in. It's just a special time, so be aware of that. Put that on the calendar now. For always the first weekend of August. This is the 19th annual one, the first time we'll be having it without uh, Mr. Jimmy Crowder, who was the founder. Okay, let's move on. A couple of quick pictures. Uh, uh, Kobe, Kobe, everybody's going out fishing this week. Here we are working. Uh, Kobe went out, uh, Sims went out with my good friend, Devin Bragg. We had an awesome trip and some quality fish. We'll get through them. There was that's a good trip. Look how flat the water is. Those boys uh, are having a good time. So thanks, Kobe, for sharing these with us. Nice mess of fish right there off a the boat. Listen, uh, this is on our Panama City fishing page. Robin Holland put this in. What are your thoughts? On, what are your thoughts? I'm sorry. We let's get back on this. What are your thoughts on a shark tournament? They had one in West Palm last Saturday. Bring in your biggest unprotected shark to weigh in. I know there'll be someone objected. Okay. Our heritage here, we have had, if you look at my book, on, I forget what page it is, pictures out of my book, we had the, the shark tournaments were a big deal back in the, back in the accurate 70s. Uh, B.J. Putnam at Half Hitch, he was putting on a big shark tournament. We'd always go out there to weigh in. I didn't fish it. We always went out to weigh in, and uh, 
And finally, they had to quit doing it. Everybody was complaining about we're killing, we're killing all the sharks, and now we have too many of them because you see uh, all the catches we have. Look what Billy Grantham sent us. Uh, catfish are biting up on Lake Seminole. Uh, Jeff, did you get a call from Billy? I, I didn't either. Uh, no catfish, but uh, save us some catfish, Billy. Mike Edwards over in Lynn Haven hand makes these lures. We've talked about it, had him on the show. He's got a new batch. He just made these. He's going to take them over to Choctatcha River, tune them in. Now he tunes in each one of his fishing lures. Folks, these are handmade. He just don't see this anymore. So if you can buy some from Mike Edwards or go to our, our shop page and buy some of these, he'll take each one and tune them in as far as making sure everything is swimming right and those lips are on right. And uh, it's just an amazing process he does. And he's been raising him some crickets. How many, how many of y'all been raising crickets lately? He just don't see this very often. <laughs> raising crickets, okay. He, listen, what does he say? The good ones now, not the striped ones. Look, we've talked about the cricket crisis we're in. Uh, we really are having trouble. See the egg crates right there? That's the little houses. The, the striped crickets are really uh, decimated our cricket population. So there's a lot to be said about that. And it's a different... Uh, <laughs> That's a good little house, Mike. I'm glad you're doing this. Don't forget, tomorrow, so try to meet the folks over there in Bristol at the boat landing. The, this money will be the Liberty County Booster Club, boosting the high schools over there in Liberty County. Good folks over there. It's going to be the boat landing. I guarantee you they'll have some good fish. Big bass tournament, a youth tournament. First place is $1,000. And like I say, it goes to Liberty County Athletics. And I know a lot of the folks, got kin folks over there, and they're going to be working hard uh, helping out the young people, okay? Uh, let's, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I've got some pictures of the full moon and all. We'll, we'll go through those and show you later. But we're going to take a break and come back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back. And our guest this morning on this segment coming from Academy Sports, Mike Reynolds. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Winston. We're glad to have you. And uh, coming up from Orlando and getting ready to have a big opening up here. And you were a marketing major in college and, we're, we're, and uh, you're working for Academy Sports now. Yeah, I've been working with Academy for almost five years now. Um, and I'm, we're excited to be here today. And we are really excited to open these doors here for you guys here in Panama City area. I know you are, you've had some fishing background. You worked in the fishing industry as far as magazines and all kinds of stuff. What were some things you did? That's correct. Uh, I worked in the fishing world for about 10 years prior to joining the Academy. I got to travel the world, put on some big marlin tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got to see some pretty big fish hit the scales and give away some pretty large prizes. Wow. Um, uh, yeah, and you headed to Mobile, a big tournament over biggest tournament around, right? That's right. The Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo is this weekend. The Academy is a really big sponsor of that, and it's a, just a really great tournament to be a part of, and, and just to witness the, the crowds and all the fish coming in. It's, it's something special. Well, it's great to have qualified people like this and know what they're talking about coming in the community, and uh, y'all are going to be doing some good things for the community. So that's what we want to share. So tell us some of the things about Academy. Well, what you guys are going to realize here in Panama City is that Academy Sports and Outdoors, we continually give back to the communities we serve. It's really important to us, whether that's from back to school programs, uh, around the holidays, even Father's Day, we're surprising Father's Day, military first responders, we're always doing great things in the community. I think we have something pretty good lined up for our grand opening. What do you think about that, Winston? This, this is exciting because you know my passion for outdoor education, and they've hooked in on they picked it up somehow. Tell us some. Tell us what's going to happen. Well, we're making uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors is going to be making a six thousand dollar donation, and we're going to be spending that across four schools in the area: Mosley High School, Bozeman High School, South Walton and Franklin County High School, right? I remember those four, I'm impressed. <laughs> and from what I understand, uh, Franklin High School, the County, this is gonna be their first year with their outdoors education That's program. That's correct, that's correct. So what we're gonna do is each one of the schools is gonna select five children. They're gonna each receive a $100 Academy Sports and Outdoors gift card, to shop the store, get everything they might need for their next outdoor adventure. We're also gonna surprise each one of the schools with a $1,000 gift card as well to help out their program and get some much needed equipment. Wow, that's all I need to say, wow, because it, all of these programs are just strapped with money and you know how expensive things are and that's, this is going to be very special. And we're going to all come in for like a little photo op and we're all going to come in at the same time wearing the school colors and it's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be taking place the week of our grand opening, which is Friday uh, the 29th of July. That's our grand opening weekend. 
It's gonna be three days of fun and festivities. Yeah. Bring the family out. We've got a lot of great things lined up. We've got um, Pit Boss Barbecue. They're gonna be out there doing tastings and demonstrations both Friday and Saturday. And then Saturday and Sunday, it's really gonna be very family friendly. We got face painting for the kids. Balloon ar animal artists are gonna be out there. Uh, we've got food trucks galore. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So you wow. definitely wanna get out to Academy Sports and Outdoors this weekend. Wow, so uh, you know, one of the things, these, these grills, barbecue grills are all really special. Wow. Yes, and by this weekend, I mean the weekend of the 29th. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep, keep you posted on it, and, and uh, certainly we're gonna be there, and uh, we'll try to sample some of those food trucks for sure. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, for sure. But you know, those grills, y'all have some really cool grills. Yeah, we have a really wide assortment of grills. Um, you're gonna find that um, not only do we have an assortment, it, including the price is the assembly. We also do propane exchange as well. We've got tons of spices, utensils, everything you need, except for the, you gotta bring the food, you gotta bring the fish and the meats, but <laughs> we gotta have everything else covered other than that. Well, we can do that. So you will be doing propane exchange because you don't see that, that's a full service uh, outdoor store. Oh yeah, we're full, full yeah. service, propane exchange, line spooling, um, Boar sighting, you name it, we, we got you all covered. You can even get your fishing licenses at Academy Sports and Outdoors as well. Okay, the fishing license, uh, that's good to hear. And what about the, uh, I know you have all kind of hunting and all kind of stuff, fishing stuff, like you said, the, the, you're gonna have blinds and stuff, different things for hunting blinds. Yeah, everything. we got everything you need for your nest hunting adventure, camping adventure, fishing, sports and recreation. I mean, everything you can do outside, we've got you covered. Our, our slogan at Academy Sports and Outdoors is have fun out there. We want you to come in, we want you to shop, but we really want you to be outside. Yeah. Doing the things that you love, spending time with the family, and just having fun outside. And that's why it was natural hooking in with us, and we, we're hooking in, if you excuse the term there, because they, they hooked up with us, and we, we're so proud to have them as, as one of our advertisers, because they do so much with outdoorsmen, and they give back to the community, like we always talk about giving back to the community and doing things for it, so we're just real tickled to have you all. Yeah, we're, we're definitely happy to be here. And again, I know our team is working feverishly trying to get ready for the, the 29th grand opening, but we're going to be ready for you. Um, other things that we have going on that weekend. Okay. Um, on Saturday and Sunday, the first 150 people in line, 18 and older, you're going to get a gift card. Now, is it now, Saturday and Sunday? It's going to be Saturday and Sunday, okay. that, the, the 30th and 31st. Okay. So that gift card can range anywhere from $10 all the way up to $500. Whoa. So the first 150 people are going to be guaranteed a gift card. It could be 10, it could be 50, I mean, all the way up to, there's gonna be one $500 gift card in there, so oh, somebody's gonna be real happy. One $500 gift card, that is cool. That'd be something we all get in line. I might be in line with you. Well, That's, you didn't have to get there early, though. Know, you might want to, well, you need those hunting blinds we're, to kind of hang out. We're <laughs> gonna leave it, we're gonna leave it out to the viewers and supporters and all, and it's just gonna be so exciting. Uh, I, I know, uh, now, but Friday will be the official day. Friday is our official grand opening. There's going to be a ribbon cutting ceremony that we're okay. going to have at nine o'clock is when our doors will open. Okay. But I do suggest getting there early if you want to hopefully guarantee yourself a spot at one of those gift cards. Okay, so so they're giving away the gift card on Friday also, or or just Saturday. Friday, Friday? and Saturday. For Friday and Saturday. Okay. Friday and Saturday. So. I'm sorry. Saturday yeah. Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so Friday is just a normal day. Yeah. That's, I mean, you know, get, get, but everybody's going to be there at nine o'clock. Yeah. And we're, the ribbon cutting. Yes, yeah, so we're doing so, the ribbon cutting. Uh, we'll be there too. So. Yeah. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, that's when you get in line for the gift cards. Um, it's gonna be a really good time though. Okay, and you got everything lined up, you got everybody hired, you got your managers and all, everybody excited about it and, and uh, we got every, we got, we got aces in places as they say, you know. Aces so. in places, that's a good term, that's a good marketing <laughs> term. What about, you know, I know you're on an old Hobby Lobby here on 23rd Street, for you don't know where it's gonna be, the old Hobby Lobby building. Uh, right here, sort of next to Chick Fil A up there. Really, is right behind our studio. I could shoot an arrow to, from here to the uh, uh, Academy. Well, I'm not going to do that, but <laughs> <laughs> well, we do sell those. <laughs> you do sell them, <laughs> okay? So we can check it out. But uh, you know, come by, and, and you know, that weekend is going to be a fun weekend, and we we just appreciate what y'all are doing. Yeah, well, we're going to hopefully be your, everyone's store of choice here for recreational activity outside and, and all the sporting goods that we have. Um, we're going to carry, we carry all the major brands. Mm -hmm. I see you're wearing a Columbia shirt. I'm actually wearing a Magellan shirt. Okay. It's one of our private label brands, Magellan. Great products. Okay. You guys are going to come to love them. We've got apparel, shoes, coolers, camping equipment. The list goes on. Oh, no, no. We also have H2O Express. That's our own private label fishing brand. Okay. Reels and rods, tackle. So. Uh, price just right, um, and I think that uh, what people in Panama City are going to find is that Academy's prices are very, very good. Okay, that sounds great. Speaking of giving things away, now we're going to wrap up this little segment here, but we always, on a Friday show, we always 
give away stuff ourselves from one of our sponsors, and Tarpon Dog Seafood. Uh, we give away a $25 gift certificate and also a uh, big red snapper every week. So, but we're gonna add a couple of names this morning. Tannis Khalil, good morning Tannis, and Darren, Darren, Darren Khalil. Uh, what they did, they bought some stuff from our shop, and remember I told you, if you buy stuff at a shop, we add your names again. So Tannis, we're gonna add your names again. Hope everybody's well over there in South Walton County, our big viewing area over there. And they're in the beach. A pretty area. So I'm gonna let you draw the name. Oh, okay, I'm fantastic. gonna start good. You draw one at a time now. And and don't don't draw Mike Reynolds out. Okay, so draw one name out. This will be the twenty five dollar gift certificate to Tarpon Rock Seafood. Who do we have? We got Jimmy Thompson. From uh, where's he from? Bayou George. Jimmy Thompson. Okay, we got that one. I right, now draw for the big red snapper. Big red snapper this year, folks. <laughs> Mary Lee Walsh. All right, Mary Lee Walsh from Panama City. Okay, we uh, there's our winners right there, and uh, run by and talk to Clay at Tarpon Dock, and and uh, you know we're talking about big restaurants. Really, those medium sizes would taste better. So really do. So anyway, get a medium size. Mike, thank you so much for coming on, and uh, enjoy your uh, trip this weekend over to Mobile, mm -hmm. and uh, send us some pictures if you get a chance. But uh, we look forward to seeing you back soon. Yeah, well, hopefully you have me back so we can talk a little bit more about some other things we got going on for that grand opening okay. weekend uh, when that approaches. But we're really excited. Weekend of the 29th, Academy right. Sports and Outdoors coming to Panama City. Sounds great. Good job there. All right, we're going to take a break. Come back with our famous Friday fishing forecast. Be right back. All right, welcome back and welcome to our famous Friday fishing forecast. Gathered from all the information uh, that I researched and y'all send in of exactly what's happening this week in the Florida Panhandle. Let's hit fresh water first. We usually mix, mix it up. Uh, the fresh water is going to be excellent. The bass fishing has been good. Cat fishing is really good on these feeder creeks as they're coming into, in, into the big creek. Uh, it, it's going to be really good. Also, you want you to take a look at the uh, the bass tournaments of this weekend also, so bass fishing excellent in the Sandhill Ponds. I've been seeing some great pictures this week. Let's start over uh, on our western end of our viewing area over in Choctatcha Bay. Choctatcha Bay has had some good reports on redfish and trout. Our surf fishing over there on the beach, uh, at Grayton Beach, one of our hot spots, it, it's, been, it's been slow. Surf fishing in the summertime, you know, I just don't surf fish in the month of July and most of August because uh, two things, the crowds and, and mainly the weeds and all, and, and plus they're not biting that much as compared to fall and summer, and uh, I'm sorry, late summer and early fall. Okay, now, the offshore, we've got to talk about, the, again, the red snapper. They're killing it. The red snapper just been awesome offshore. You've been seeing the pictures. But also, I have to mention the grouper. We went out Saturday, and by the way, we'll have that video next Wednesday of our big snapper and grouper trip uh, off the family tradition in Apalachicola. It's a great trip, and we really caught some fine fish, had some good people on board. So that video will be on Wednesday. You'll see what I'm talking about. Near shore, Again, I wrote this in capital letters, tarpon. Tarpon has been awesome. Everybody's catching tarpon. We've talked about it all week. We talked about it two weeks ago. It's been the best summer I ever remember on tarpon fishing as far as the uh, evidence I've been getting from the pictures and all and talking to folks. So tarpon has been ideal. Again, the tarpon fishing anywhere and, and what folks are doing, you're coming out of the pass. And, and the, biggest, the biggest thing is you come out of the pass, Go along Shell Island, all the way down here to the tip of Cape San Blas. That area, all this area in here, Crooked Island, excellent tarpon fishing. The guys over in Destin, they're catching them right off here, off the Sunnyside area. So it's, it's really good fishing all through there. Now let's move on uh, again on the, let's, let's go to inshore, because we got more inshore fishermen than anyone. Inshore, again, the redfish have been excellent. I talked to Michael Harris this week, uh, Braden and some of his buddies went out and they caught a bunch of redfish. Folks are catching them in three feet of water on this high tide that we've talked about and guess what they're catching them on? You got it, a gold spoon. <laughs> it's been the number one since, since forever. The gold spoon catching, you know, you're gonna use all kinds of things and we do, but the old reliable, never go red fishing without a gold spoon. And so that's been really good. Uh, the Jettas is still producing off here off Deepwater Point. They're still catching some nice fish off Deepwater Point. There were some actors catches of Spanish mackerel uh, uh, this early part of this week. Okay, now, also, 
if you're going to redfish, again, uh, West Bay is going to be good. Bridge fishing. Bridge fishing uh, on these high tides, outgoing tide, the big, big bull reds, right below the Hathaway Bridge is going to be good. Also, remember, <laughs> we showed the picture on Tuesday of this week off the Lynn Haven Bridge. They call it a tarpon off the Lynn Haven Bridge. I'm seeing some really cool things there because people are now taking golf carts on the fishing bridge. See the little fishing bridge on the side? Folks in Lynn Haven are actually driving a golf cart. That was so cool, they got them rigged up with rod holders in the back. And they're just, you know, that's an excellent idea to do that. That's sort of what I have down at, at Cape Sandblast. Let's move on down, way down there to Carabelle. Folks at Carabelle are doing well. They're getting ready for the tournament. St. George Island fishing, bridge fishing is good at East Point. Look here. Bridge fishing is excellent right there coming off East Point. St. George Island on the backside of St. George Island. Okay, red fishing and trout is going to be really good there. I'm about to run out of time. I wanted to mention that uh, back behind Dog Island, they're catching some trout too. So that's going to sort of wrap it up as far as our uh, fishing forecast. So it'll be a great weekend to get out. A little bit of high water and fresh water, a little bit, but the water clarity and the salt water has been excellent. We're having some really good good movement there. We've got to wrap it up, folks. Thank you all for a good week on Panhandle Outdoors. We appreciate your viewership. You do something good today for your fellow man, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.